All right, let's go ahead and get started with Article 1. We're going to be looking at a partnership between Ford and HP and how they're going about sustainability. All right, so this is pretty simple. HP makes a lot of the industrial 3D printers that companies like Ford use. And together, they wanted to figure out how to upcycle the waste. The idea here is that although HP makes sure that their printers are optimizing and making sure they're not wasting a lot, there is still some waste, and that waste is always ending up in landfills. So they came together and they're like, let's make a product out of this waste, right? What product are they making? Great question. Right now, they're looking at fuel line clips. That's okay. the main product they're going after. And they're, I think that they, they talked about how they only want to put it in the F-250 right now. But after I talk about what I plan on talking about, I am pretty confident that I see a future where Ford expands this to the full line of offerings. Awesome. So the process starts with getting the waste material. In order for Ford to actually put this in their production vehicles, they need to have a consistent source, making sure that they're getting enough waste to actually make the products they want to make. And that's where Smile Direct Club comes in. Smile Direct Club, for those of you that don't know, they actually make like aligners. So like if you have teeth that are like kind of screwed up, they help you get your teeth to be like nice and straight. Like mine were like a couple of years ago, super cool company. And they employ the largest fleet of HD, HP 3D printers. Yeah, so I think they like, do bespoke scans or molds of your mouth and then they 3d print you know for every single person a custom aligner so i could see they're probably making tons of aligners every day and being familiar with some forms of 3d printing from my experience working in the 3d printing industry i imagine they you know even if they're good with you know recycling as much of the waste as they can there comes a point where you can't use purely recycled material Mm -hmm. you have to introduce some virgin material because of the mechanical properties so i imagine you know they're probably making thousands of aligners every single day they might have enough waste for ford to do more than just fuel clips yeah you're absolutely right and by the way talking about their volume they make about forty thousand aligners every single day so there's definitely enough waste to go around to make anything you'd want to make so from there Uh, Smile Direct Club and other companies that want to be a part of this program ship their waste to HP's recycling partner. And that partner takes those waste powders and turns them into plastic pellets that are ideal for injection molding, which is how Ford and a lot of companies make their plastic parts. The pellets are then shipped to one of uh, Ford's suppliers, and that supplier then manufactures the part, which is the fuel line clips, which gets sent to Ford's uh, assembly line, and then it finds its way into your next brand new F-250. Um, this might not sound like a big deal. Like, <laughs> as a consumer, I never think about my fuel line clip. To be honest with you, I didn't even know what it was until we went through this article together. But here's some cool things about it. Apparently, this new product is 7% lighter, 10% cheaper than its predecessor, and the best part is that it's completely made out of sustainable materials. Um, that's that's pretty interesting because i've heard of you know even working in the auto industry i've heard of a lot of applications of recycled plastics that end up in a part that um, doesn't have great mechanical properties costs more but you do it anyway because it's a good thing to reduce waste and it's a good thing to use recycled materials but it's interesting here that we're saying it's lighter which means that the material is actually stronger so they can remove extra material it's cheaper and 100% recycled. This is super interesting. And I imagine like the way that HP printers work, you know, you're not trying to source recycled plastic from people's recycling bins with a bunch of different types of bottles. They have very tight control over this powder material. And that's probably you're why they can get right. such predictable mechanical properties out of the recycled plastic parts at the end. Right. And it, it's a great effort because Ford has this goal of having only sustainable materials in their cars at some point in the near future. HP is trying to do their part, again, with 3D printing technology, minimizing waste, and trying to upcycle this waste. So you love it when two great companies, two industry leaders come together and make something beautiful. Yeah, I mean, it's a huge kudos to Ford. I, we've seen some of their previous efforts in the past few years. I know, um, I think maybe last year, the year before, they announced a partnership with McDonald's to use coffee beans as a filler in some of their composite plastics. So um, it seems like it's up their alley to be continuing to use recycled products like this um, and good for them for pioneering the way uh, for doing this in the auto industry.